There's not a lot of things that we can confidently say that we're going to experience with absolute certainty. Not everyone will experience things like love, marriage, or even happiness. But there is one thing that we will absolutely experience 100% guaranteed, which is pain. There's no avoiding it. Everybody will experience pain and suffering at different points in their life. Some will experience it worse than others, and some will experience it more than others. Want to know something even more depressing? It doesn't matter how faithful of a Christian you are, you too will suffer. But the thing I love about Christianity and the Bible in particular is that it doesn't shy away from the reality of pain. It actually tackles it head on. There's plenty of examples that we can look at, but one of the best illustrations that really expresses the deep emotions that Christians feel when we're in pain is found in the first few verses of Psalm 42, which reads this, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When you think about it, the psalmist paints a gloomy picture here, and rightfully so because the writer of this psalm was very depressed. In fact, he was so depressed and hurt that he compared himself to a deer who was essentially dying of thirst. Just try to imagine an aching or maybe even a dying deer who's desperate for water. Maybe the deer sees the water in the distance and knows it's out there but can't quite muster the energy to reach it. That's what the psalmist was comparing himself to. He was the deer whose spirit was dying of thirst. But instead of thirsting after water, the psalmist thirsted after God. The psalmist was dying spiritually and emotionally. But it wasn't water that would satisfy his thirst. Only God himself could relieve him of his pain. As the deer longed after water to relieve its suffering, the psalmist longed after God to relieve his. And you too will sometimes be that aching and dying deer who is desperate for drink. In other words, there's gonna be a lot of times in your life when you will suffer greatly, and it will feel like you're hanging on to your last bit of energy. Everyone will experience this at some point, even if you're a Christian. In fact, Christians often get even more confused during their suffering because they may start questioning God for not taking away their pain at all. What's worse is that sometimes there'll even be skeptics and scoffers who mock you for still worshiping a God that allows you to suffer. I actually recently saw a video from a channel named Daily Disciple who was venting about his emotional struggles and the pain he was going through, and a lot of people commented ugly and discouraging things to him. Although it definitely was not the appropriate time for people to make fun of him, they did ask a worthy question. How can you still worship a God who allows you to go through pain? How can you still fool yourself into believing that he's actually real? Well, it might make you feel a little bit better to know that this is actually nothing new. In fact, in the very next verse in Psalm 42, the psalmist mentions that he too was being questioned and mocked for his faith when he says this, My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, where is your God? So instead of receiving encouragement from those around him, the psalmist was also being mocked for his faith in God while he was in tears. So what did he do? What was the psalmist's answer to being mocked when he experienced doubt? Well, when most people experience pain, they eventually respond in anger. There's examples of this everywhere in the Bible, and I'm sure that maybe even you've reacted this way too. I definitely have. But that's not what the psalmist did. He didn't react in anger. He responded by drawing even closer to God. Instead of reacting in anger, he reacted with longing. Isn't that something? Someone who probably had every right to blame God instead trusted in his wisdom so much that he knew the only solution to his suffering was to draw even closer to the Lord because God probably knew something about that suffering that the psalmist didn't. This is important to remember when we're experiencing pain too. The Bible is filled with infinite wisdom and eternal and unchanging truth. If you're a believer, I'm sure you agree. The thing is that sometimes the truth that's contained in the scriptures is hard for us to accept. And one of the things that remains true is that life is full of suffering. This is true because pain and suffering are both necessary in order for free will to exist. Love can only be true love if it is freely given. But if we have the freedom to choose what is good, then we also have to have the freedom to choose what is bad. Because we have the ability to choose what is bad, we also have things like sin, pain, and suffering, which again, are all byproducts of our freedom to choose. As I said earlier, the reality of pain and suffering is something that the Bible does not shy away from admitting. This is actually a topic that Jesus Christ himself and the New Testament writers discuss very openly. But while Jesus Christ does say that we will suffer because life is full of inevitable suffering, he also gives us great news too, which is found in John chapter 16, verse 33, when he says this, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Those last two sentences are worth reading again. But take heart, I have overcome the world. 
This declaration is one of the most important things for us to remember in the midst of pain. Yes, the world is full of suffering. Yes, the world is full of pain, injustice, and unfair treatment. Wicked and evil people may get ahead in life while virtuous people may get the short end of the stick. The world is filled with all sorts of trouble. But although there is trouble in the world, the world itself remains in the hands of God. It is God who is the ultimate authority over all things. He rules over all those who cause suffering, those who create pain, and those who mock your faith. It is God who can provide you with peace, love, and joy. It's in the Lord that you can find peace because while the trials and troubles we go through in life will be hard and seem impossible at times, God's yoke is easy and his burden is light. So if you find yourself in pain, depressed, burdened, or even confused by the troubles of this world, remember the words of Jesus Christ. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen.